<laughs> this guy's toast. Weasel Tunneler, Death Rattle. Shuffle this minion into your opponent's deck. What happens if a friendly Weasel Tunneler dies with Baron Rivendare on board? You'll go to your opponent's deck, then back into your own. Kinda weird, but you can justify it by saying because the death rattle triggers a second time, it goes to your opponent's opponent deck, which would be your own. What happens if your weasel tunneler die with an explorer's hat? The hat goes into your opponent's hand. Now, what if we gave Weasel Tunneler Soul of the Forest? Given the last two interactions, you might be thinking, oh, it will summon a tree ant for the opponent. Nope, nothing happens at all. But that's not the crazy part. Yep, the same Weasel Tunneler that went into your opponent's deck came back on the board with the Death Rattle still on them. Now what happens if you reincarnate a Weasel? It'll end up on the other side of the board. Same goes for Moat Lurker. Now, you can probably figure out what is causing Weasel Tunneler to act so strangely. It's because of his death rattle. Whenever a friendly Weasel Tunneler dies, the game registers this as an enemy minion dying. And whenever an enemy Weasel Tunneler dies, the game registers this as a friendly minion dying. To illustrate my point, here is Cult Master and Backroom Bouncer, two minions with abilities that only trigger when a friendly minion dies. As you can see, even though it was an enemy weasel tunneler, due to the fact that the death rattle puts it into your friendly deck, the game processes this to mean, oh, the minion that died is in a friendly zone and must be a friendly minion, which causes backroom bouncer and cult master to trigger. We can also run the test with Mech Genius Thermoplug, who only triggers when an enemy minion dies. And as expected, when the enemy weasel tunneler dies, it does not trigger Timber Pug's ability. Kalsuzad and Nazoth are not affected by this behavior, however. They will only bring back weasels that died on their side. Oh, and there's also this bug where if you play Weasel Tunneler, your deck will always appear full. Even when you have an empty deck, your deck will still look full. And your hero doesn't even say their I'm out of cards line either. So if you're playing this card, you have to mouse over your deck every single time to see how close you are to fatiguing, because the visuals are broken. So these problems we're seeing with Weasel Tunneler, we've actually seen before. One year ago, when League of Explorers was released, people complained about the Entomb and Genie of Zephyr interaction. How if you Entomb an enemy minion with Zephyr on board, you'll also Entomb your own minion. This is because by the time Entomb has finished casting, the enemy minion is now in a friendly deck. And the game processes this to mean you just casted a spell on a friendly minion, 
which is why it would do the same to Genie of Zephyr. Senior designer Benbro stated that this behavior is normal, but that he would like to change the rules to prevent this. It is now one year later, the rules have not been changed, and Weasel Tunneler was released, suffering from very similar issues, which leads to situations where if you decide to fire an opposing Weasel Tunneler, you'll also end up fireballing all of your own genies. Now before all of you start sharpening your pitchforks and grabbing your torches to riot at Blizzard, keep in mind that they have been fixing a lot of these bad interactions lately. When we brought up the moat lurker inconsistency back in Karazhan, it was fixed within a week. And Gadgetzan has only been out for a few days, so let's wait to see if Blizzard decides to act on these strange behaviors. Instead, I'm going to ask all of you to give your thoughts and opinions on what should happen in these weasel interactions because some of them make a bit of sense, like the Baron Rivendare one, and some are just really bizarre, like the Soul of the Forest one. So please, comment below with your thoughts on Weasel Tunneler, or post it on the official forums, or talk about it on social media. Blizzard does actively monitor feedback, and is willing to make changes if you let them know that some of these interactions just don't make any sense. Anyways, that's going to do it for me guys. Thank you as usual for watching. And before I go, I just want to let you know that I'll be doing a Q&A session sponsored by Skype this Wednesday, December 7th at 3 p.m. Pacific time. So if you want to ask me any questions about interaction and bugs or just funny ideas, just add Gaming with Skype on Skype to join the Q&A. Thanks guys, take care. Lights out.